Hey, what's up, YouTube? Mr. Eleven Eighty Five here. As you can see, I do not have the white Galaxy S Three. Um, the great folks at Verizon swapped it out. Um, I have some friends there, so it worked out pretty good. So I got it pretty quick. But I did get the uh, the blue version, which I really wanted. I'm pretty excited about that. So um, in that case, it looks like I'm gonna need to root my phone. So I figured I'd go ahead and make a video on how to root. Uh, the Verizon variant of Galaxy GS3. This is super easy. Um, thanks to all the developers that uh, made this happen without having to go through Odin. So, what we'll do is I will show you that I am running, as you can see, everything stock. Uh, running Android Ice Cream Sandwich, which I'm excited about getting back into um, into a custom kernel, into Jelly Bean, getting all those cool things back. Sorry, the focus is kind of goofy. There you go. So, um, first off, what you'll need to do is you'll need to go to developer options, and I've already done this part. Click USB debugging. You want to go to security, and you want to unknown sources, click that. And then, um, the files that you'll need, I'll have a link in the description to the XDA form, but um, you're going to need to um, download you will need to download the zip file root debug fs and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and right click that and we will extract well, sorry this is hard to do with a handheld um, we'll extract here there we go so you can see it extracted right here um, what you'll want to do is go ahead and make yourself a folder so you know exactly where things at. I have a GS3 folder right here. So I'm just going to move it into there. Open that up. And open this. Alright, now you can see all this is already inside. What you're going to want to do, and you can see the super user, super user APK, ADB, all that stuff. Uh, make sure that you have your drivers installed. You're going to want to run this, and this is going to be super simple. What you'll need to do, going to make sure you have your phone hooked up, USB debugging set up. So, phone's hooked up. You'll see your phone, your computer will recognize it. Then you will want to go to one for root. Hit enter. It'll let you know to have your have your phone in that they're not responsible for anything. And it'll give you a couple protocols before it gets started. Sorry, this thing is hard to focus. Yes, do you agree? It'll let you know that you need to have the, the drivers installed. Hit enter. They'll let you know to have it in cut your security for unknown sources. Make sure USB debugging's on. Hit any key to continue. And once you get it started, you will just let it ride. So uh, it'll reboot four times. And once we're done, uh, I'll show you what we're All right, it's testing super user. Saying everything should still be zero. Hit yes. Last time. All right. Once your phone reboots for the last time, everything will still look stock. Um, you will go in here, and you can see I have Super User. I've also downloaded a couple apps real quick to show you um, what you're going to need to finish this process. So you can start flashing custom recoveries. Put in custom ROMs. Um, you want to go to ROM, download ROM Manager, and download Easy Unlock. Um, but Easy Unlock, if you go into your Play Store, you'll go to search, type in Easy Unlock. When you pop up this app right here, BZW Easy Unlock, you'll download that. 
Uh, you also, like I said, download ROM Manager. First thing you do, easy unlock. You'll see the status is locked. So what you want to do is hit unlock. Yes, I'm sure I want to unlock my bootloader. See, it's successfully unlocked. It still says locked. Now it says unlocked. So my device is unlocked. Bootloader is unlocked. And then you want to go to ROM Manager. And these are some new features. Okay, just say okay. You will go to Flash Custom. Then you'll want to pick the device that you have. So we have, boom, it'll say you want to go over Wi Fi. I've got pretty strong 4G here. I'm just going to do it over my data. Um, if you feel better doing it over Wi-Fi, do so. But the reason you'll want to do that is because you don't want to stop in the middle of it. See, it's Flash Custom Recovery. Um, and then it'll ask you about Touch Recovery. Now, I've already done this once, so it didn't ask me for root permission. So, one thing that the first time I did this, you can see these apps have already asked me for root permission. Um, the first time I did it, Easy Unlock didn't unlock it at first, so I just... I opened up my recent apps, I slide, slid it over to, to, to shut down the app, opened it back up, and then it asked me for super user permission. So that's something I was running into. And also with ROM Manager, um, the first time I flashed custom recovery, it like paused for a long time. So, um, and then it failed. So what I did is I shut it down and then cut it back on. I even restarted my phone, cut it back on, and then it asked me for super user permission. And that's the only thing that was holding up. So wanted to make sure that super user permission was being granted and um, if you have any other issues leave me a comment at the bottom of the video but those are things I ran into then you can see I downloaded a Wi-Fi tether uh, that's one of the reasons you know I definitely want this uh, phone rooted and also Fox 5 I know everybody loves Fox 5 but with Fox 5 they just did an update and now you get very minimal usage out of it for free and um, you know I don't mind paying seven bucks for it but if I can root my phone and get it for free that's definitely what I'll do and um, for the time being and then you know I, I always promote you know definitely donate to developers um, if you want to keep your phone unrooted and use Foxfire it's worth seven bucks um, to have unlimited data you know coming from your phone especially if you have an unlimited data package so um, one more app you can download and we'll do that real quick we'll download root checker root checker should pop up right there Boom, and this will just tell you that, you know, it'll confirm that you have root on your phone. As you can see, blazing fast for GLT, I love it. Um, agree. Okay. And then we'll verify root access. It's going to check the phone. It's going to ask you for permission. Say okay. And boom, your phone has root access. So you're good to go. Um, if you have any questions, thank you guys for checking out my videos. Um, you will start seeing some ROMs pop up on this blue GS3. I love this color, um, but that is how you root and recover um, or root your phone and add custom recovery. Now, also, if you haven't seen my other videos, to get into your custom recovery, you can use the ROM manager when you're running stock. You can just put reboot into recovery and it will reboot your phone into clockwork mod recovery. Um, that way, if you if you ever have issues with doing the power button volume up and home button at the same time to go into recovery, um, you could do it that way. So you don't have to wait for it to power down all that. This this way, I'll do it on its own. Um, and then once you install some custom ROMs, they should have re reboot menus to restart and recovery. So that's it. There we go. And then I am going to start flashing ROMs as soon as I get some downloaded or transferred over from my old zip files but thank you guys so much for checking out make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have any comments likes concerns any of that put it down the bottom thank you guys so much um, and definitely give me a thumbs up if you like the video and um, subscribe it, it helps a lot thank you guys
so mad Why can't I have a life like he has Autographs, record tracks, turn the globe and rap It was a dream that's